A group of local restaurant workers in Antalya attempting to deliver food and water to firefighters at the front line and narrowly escaping with their lives. In scenes repeated across much of southern Anatolia, the countryside surrounding the normally bustling resort town of Marmaris was reduced to ashes in a matter of hours. With a combination of strong winds and temperatures of over 40 degrees Celsius, creating tinderbox conditions. The fires broke out on Wednesday in the provinces of Mersin and Adana before spreading west along the coast to Mula. Pictures on social media show residents fleeing their homes to escape the flames. In some areas, tourists were taken to safety by boat as hotels were evacuated. The coastal resort town of Manavgat in Antalya found itself at the epicenter of the blazes with over 2,000 properties thought to be either damaged or destroyed. Families have been returning home only to be confronted with scenes of devastation. I had this house built in 1982. This was all our savings for the past 39, 40 years. We are now left with the clothes we are wearing, me and my wife. There is nothing to do. This is the moment when words fail me. As well as homes, livestock and domestic pets have also been lost. While dozens of fires have now been brought under control, emergency services remain at 14 separate locations, battling the most persistent blazes. Planes, helicopters and drones have been scrambled to assist with the effort, and Russia and the Ukraine have sent support. These are the times when we need unity, brotherhood and solidarity the most. Thank God the majority of the fires are contained. The number of firefighting planes has increased with reinforcements sent from Ukraine, Russia, Azerbaijan and lastly Iran. But with forecasters warning that temperatures may once again exceed 40 degrees in coming days, fears are growing that the death toll from Turkey's summer inferno may yet rise further.